Okay, since yesterday um, I've gone ahead and taken off the bark and I've drawn in uh, the face kind of where I think uh, I'm going to want it and I've uh, I did a little bit of grinding uh, you can see right uh, right along the top here kind of ground it in a little bit so I can kind of get an idea of where the wood stabilizes uh, on the top of his head and then um, uh, yesterday I showed you where I drew in where I thought the, the head shape would be and you'll notice that I have I have uh, drawn in the lines and uh, I want to point them out to you uh, the reason I drew this di uh, this line uh, vertically uh, down the shaft of the stick here along the with the grain is um, to divide the stick into two halves so that when I'm carving uh, it'll help me with uh, keeping it um, uniform uh, balance on both sides then <clears throat> If this is the top of the head, the eyes normally go about through the through the middle of the head um, horizontally. Okay, so that's the line that splits the head into two halves: the top of the head and the bottom of the face here. Although, if you look at people, which I do a lot, it's not really um, it's not always exact that's what I want to say okay and then what I did is I just kind of uh, do a guesstimate again of how long I want his nose to be and what you'll see when I'm carving is I always tend to uh, <clears throat> allow a little bit of room so that I can uh, do facial adjustments later this is not the best way of doing it and from all the videos I've watched uh, where, where I've watched um, really expert master carvers carve they never do it that way they always figure out ahead of time what they're going to do but as I said this is how I carve a face so <clears throat> and then uh, kind of drew in where I figured the lips would be and then underneath that the chin now you can see from the bottom of the lip to the to the bottom of the chin here it's a uh, it's a little bit long and the reason I do that is I'll probably end up taking off some but uh, it allows me to when I'm doing it to elongate the the nose if I want and to move the lips down depending on how it works out um, okay so let's uh, proceed here um, the first thing I'm going to do let me point this out because I know it's kind of noisy when I'm when I start up the the air filter and the motor um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut across the eyes here because I know that's the deepest point on the nose and uh, I will make sure that this is the high point of his nose and then I'll shape it down here and then from there I'll take off more of his uh, forehead to round it back <clears throat> 